You're right guys, in this video I'm going to be taking some copper pipe and some scaffold board and I'm going to be making a toilet roll holder. Now I want to say a massive thank you to Evolution Power Tools for sponsoring this video, I really hope you like it. I got everything I needed for this project from B&Q, so everything should be easy to find if you'd like to make one for yourself. I got a length of 22mm copper pipe, some compression elbow fittings, a straight compression coupling, a compression end cap, some two part epoxy, a scaffold board, although I only used a small part of this, and a tin of medium oak wax to finish it. The main task for this project is cutting the copper pipe. I used the new Evolution Fury 3S miter saw since it's able to cut through copper and other metals with ease. I cut the copper pipe to the following dimensions. One length at 620mm, two lengths at 160mm, one length at 50mm, and two lengths at 65mm. Once all the pieces were cut, I test fitted them together with the elbow fittings. I just tighten them by hand at first to make sure the sizes looked right and then I can fully tighten them when I'm happy with how they look. The pieces go together really easily with the compression fittings. I add the 160mm piece upright, then an elbow forward with the 50mm piece attached, then an elbow left followed by a 65mm piece. Onto that, I added an elbow going down with the other 65mm piece. Then an elbow right with the other 160mm piece. And then I added the compression end cap onto the end of that too. On the bottom of the 620mm piece, I secured the straight compression coupling and then hand tightened the other side of the connection. This is so that it can slip on and off the upright 620mm piece that will be the stand. For the base I cut a 220mm square section off the scaffold board using the miter saw. You could keep it like this but I wanted a round base so I used my crosscut sled on the table saw to cut the circle. I hammered a nail into the centre of the square securing it to the sled but allowing it to rotate. I position the nail 110mm away from the blade so it would create a 220mm circle. I could then proceed to keep cutting off the corners until there was no more material to be removed. I used a 22mm flat drill bit to drill a hole roughly 25mm deep. Testing the fit of the copper pipe was good so I could go ahead and sand the base and remove the sharp edges. This was my first time using a liquid wax but I'm really happy with the results from it. It applies really easy with a brush and gives a very even colour and coat. I gave it two coats sand in between both. When the wax was dry I sanded the end of the 620mm copper pipe to give the epoxy more surface area to adhere to. I could then squeeze out a small amount mix it thoroughly and add it to the hole and the end of the copper pipe. I made sure it was fully seated in the hole and it was square to the base. I did consider adding the metal banding from the scaffold board to the base but I decided against it in the end. At this point the toilet roll holder is done, but it's just missing something.
So that's it then guys really. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I think this is a great use for some copper pipe. It's not load bearing or anything like that so I think that it's well suited to it. I like adding that little phone stand on the back as well because I know a lot of people take the phone in the bathroom with them so that's ideal for that. Let me know what you think down in the comments below please. I answer all comments. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it give it a thumbs down. If you could share the video as well, share it with your friends. Maybe they'll enjoy it and hopefully they'll be inspired by it. I hope you was. And if you've not subscribed to my channel already, please go and click that subscribe button so you'll be sure to catch my next video when it's released.